When we went from like almost doing no exploring <laughs> to like exploration overload. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we were with family. Yeah. Doing wedding crap yeah. and visiting family, and so we weren't really doing a lot of adventuring stuff. Mm -hmm. But now we're in Louisville, and we just Is did a bunch of whiskey time stuff. To see here. Yeah. Done with all the whiskey stuff. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go look at baseball bats. Yeah. Maybe we look, get drunk and play with baseball bats. <laughs> with the low bat thing? Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. I don't know why they would put the baseball bat thing right in the middle of whiskey country. Oh, yeah. Because then you're very tempted to get drunk and hit people with ball bats. Well, they're little bats. But I will tell you this, though. If you're going to use a baseball bat as like a defense mechanism, yeah. like if you're going to put your, your ball bat in your trunk in case you, it's like a road rage situation, you got to hop out and really <laughs> clank somebody with a freaking ball bat. Yeah. Look, okay. keep a glove and a ball in your trunk also. Your lawyer will thank you. <laughs> That's just a helpful <laughs> tip to get through life. <laughs> I was on my way to a game. Yeah. It was a spur of the moment, heat of the moment thing. I play on a league. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going to go to the Louisville Slugger Bat Factory today. We're going to see how it's all made. They have a museum there, too. So I'm super excited because I'm a you. huge baseball fan. Yeah. This is like, well, later this year, we're going to be going to Cooperstown. Yes. Which is Baseball Hall of Fame. So that's the Mecca. But this is like a step. This is, this is still really cool. <laughs> it's just one level down. Still really cool. So we're going to do this. Okay. And then later this year, we'll go to the Hall of Fame and show you all the really cool stuff. Okay. And by that time, you know, we'll already have our little our little bat <laughs> and we'll have some whiskey with have, us. I will have more knowledge <laughs> under my belt by the time we get to the Hall of Fame. So don't piss <laughs> us off. We'll get drunk and crack you with a little bat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, that's just stupid. Pink. <laughs> Well, this is very cool. Yeah. As soon as you walk in, we haven't even started the tour yet. They got a, a place here where you can hold famous bats. Bats that were game used by yep. famous people. Look at this. Like Johnny Bench, Roberto Clemente, Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth. Willie Mays. Willie Mays. <laughs> and then the little racks of like like modern era Our players that you yeah. can hold their bats to. It's so cool. I've never seen a museum where you can like hold the artifacts. Nice. So, I can't wait to get inside and see the rest. <laughs> yeah. This is just, we just stepped in the door. This is just stop one. I'm probably going to geek out all day. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> find out what a 90 mile an hour fastball feels like. This is the bat that uh, Johnny Bench used in an All-Star game and the bat that he used at his, in his final home run uh, in the major leagues. So a very cool piece of history if you're a Johnny Bench fan. This bat right here is the bat that Hank Aaron hit his 700th home run with. So just very cool baseball history in here, man. These bats belong to Roberto Clemente and Jackie Robinson. So these are awesome pieces of history bats, too. This is Honus Wagner's signature plate that he used to stamp on his Louisville Sluggers. And Honus Wagner is, I believe, still the most expensive baseball card that you can find on the planet. It was uh, one they used to find in like the tobacco packs of baseball cards. 
And he has a cool name, Wagner. Look, this is cool. They get you, you get to vote. You get to vote on which quilt is the best. So. This which, is the American meat quilt over there. Okay. This is the National League quilt. Okay. So what do you think? I think you're going to pick the lead. No, I mean, which one do you think is the best? I personally think the National League quilt is the best. I do too. Only because that's the Cubs League. Uh, you can't can vote more than once. Cheater. <laughs> All right, I'm heading into the batting cage. I have Christian Yelich's bat. They didn't have any Cubs players, so modern player, decent player, plays for the Brewers. Uh, since we watch National League all the time, it was the one that I knew that I could probably uh, swing pretty good, so I'm heading into the batting cage. Get 10 pitches. All right, they had no Cubs bats, but I got me a Cubs blue helmet. See if I can hit this ball or not. <laughs> it's going to be embarrassing if I miss it. <laughs> it is. with the factory tour which is very cool very. they would not let us film in there no but took some very cool pictures as soon as you walk in right across from the, the stacks of billets that they got is a cool place where they they store these billets that are going to be big league ball players bats one uh -huh. day so these guys have already ordered their bats and they're in the process of being made these big league ball players can order up to 100 bats per season to use during bats. the season that's a ton of bats I didn't think they used that many bats. I didn't either. But we've been seeing them break a lot this season. They have been so breaking. they've been going through some bats. Once they get these billets, they take them over to this turning machine. They used to turn these things by hand. They don't do that anymore. That's crazy. But now they, they turn them in these turning machines. They crank out bats like a bat in like 12 seconds. And yeah. it kicks it down on this conveyor belt and sends it off to the next to the next process. Um, but Louisville Slugger makes around 3,000 bats per day which is insane. That is incredible. What the really cool part is, for every one tree they take down to make bats out of it, they plant two trees. That's correct, and that's awesome. That's very cool. After these bats get turned, there's a ton of like shavings and scraps and all that stuff, but don't go to waste. No, it doesn't. It's used for bedding, for turkeys. Yeah, there's local turkey farmers they ship this stuff out to, and they use it for the bedding on the front, which is really, really cool. So nothing goes to waste. After the bats go down the line, then that's where they kind of decide what happens with the bat. Now some of the bats are wrapped for color, some are dipped in paint, some are stamped. Uh, if it's endorsed by a big league player, it'll be stamped with their mm -hmm. autograph. Mm -hmm. Every one of them is stamped with the Louisville Slugger logo. The other cool thing that we saw is when you go to these turn the turning machine, there's a lot of big leaguers who have, have toured the factory, have watched Watch. their bats being yeah. made, and they autograph the, the turning machine. Yes. So yeah, there's lots cool. of, of big league players on there, so that's really cool. So that's the big league factory tour. It sucks that we couldn't film in there, but we got some good pictures. We got some more pictures that we're showing here, so if you join us over on Facebook and Instagram, we'll show some of those still images over there. Too. Yeah. Very cool information about like how Louisville Slugger reduced production of their bats during World War II yeah. to help make stocks of rifles. Yeah. Well, after you get done with the tour, you can come into the gift shop and get you some Louisville Slugger swag. Yeah. Or a bat. But. You can't get a Cubs bat because they're all out. They're all out because everyone loves the Cubs. I wish I could argue that's why they're out, but they wouldn't be out unless they sold them all. So yeah. I can't even. I mean, argue they got it. stacks of like Giants and Padres and Phillies and other Twins. Yeah, teams that Rangers. don't matter. <laughs> teams that don't matter. But <laughs> well, the Cubs is totally, totally empty. Yeah. Well, we're done with the tour, but we wanted to show you this. The world's largest baseball bat. Yeah. How tall is it? 126 foot. 126 feet tall, 68,000 pounds. Wow. It would hold 30,000 gallons of water if it was hollowed out. That's a pretty big baseball bat. I need a fresh tank like that. <laughs> yeah, we need. <laughs> yeah, RV needs a fresh tank. That, and I that, could that, <laughs> Yeah. That'd be a little heavy for our axles, I think. Um, Anyway, I had a great time in there. The batting cage was super fun. Yeah. It's hard to track. It's hard to track the ball coming out of there. It's different from it's coming out of a pitcher's hand. Yeah. But the good thing, it was only going like 45 miles an hour, which is only about half the speed of big league uh, pitching. Yeah. So 
Um, yeah, hard enough tracking a 45 mile an hour pitch, so 90 miles an hour? You can imagine. Yeah, yeah I would probably crazy. be like, Phew. So next time you're watching a baseball game and you go, why did you just stand there? He just stood there because the ball went by before you were like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> He's like, oh, did he pitch? Oh, he already pitched? Uh, I'm out? Okay, <laughs> I, I'll go take a seat then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, it's harder than what it, it looks. Almost $20 a person, which is not bad. It was about yeah. a 30, 45 minute tour and then your free roam in the museum, take yeah, as long as you like in there in the gift shop and you can kind of kick around. And, and you can personalize your own bat. Yeah, I you think do. that's cool and they'll and ship it to you. Boom, they gave us bats. <laughs> this is so dangerous. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> I don't know why they would give me a bat. I don't know. That's a terrible either. idea. And they have their own um, distillery now. Yeah, where well, you can make your own bourbon. Yeah, so. You can mix. They made it even easier to get drunk and hit somebody with a ball bat. It did make it too easy. <laughs> it's right next door. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, you got to come check this out. We had a ton of fun. Yeah. And um, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Come to Louisville. Right. See the big bat. Yeah. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.